Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a very, very rainy Monday morning. I've already got my coffee this morning. Most of the time, I cook breakfast first and then clean up, then get my coffee. But this morning, this rain is making me want to keep sleeping, so I went ahead and got the coffee. Here comes Sissy. She dropped her mouse. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so I'm about to go ahead and make the breakfast. This morning I'm making three fall breakfasts, which y'all already saw in yesterday's video. If you missed it, I'll link it down below. These don't take very long, and they're gonna be fun. So yeah, if you missed that video, I'll link it down below for you. kitchen cleaned up everybody started on their schoolwork now Manly's playing quietly he's almost ready for his nap I think already this morning the rain it's it does it everybody it makes you sleepy it's finally slowing down a little bit I mean it's still a little drizzle going on but definitely not what it was doing earlier but it is the perfect day for chili that's what we're about to make so I'm just defrosting the ground beef real quick I have about a little over two pounds in there while it's defrosting I'm gonna go ahead and get everything ready we're gonna need an onion some bell peppers and garlic, but I got this minced garlic for this, so I already have that. You know what I should have done? I should have gotten like a little basket and just put all the chili stuff in the basket so that I could have just pulled this out. Dark red kidney beans, tomato sauce, stewed tomatoes, tomato sauce, I need two cans of that, and the Rotel, I think is the last thing I need. I'm down here. Oh, there's the Rotel. Yeah, I think that's it because I ordered like chili beans and they gave me this chili with no beans. I was like, complete opposite of what I needed. So that's okay. We'll just go with the one can of kidney beans because we don't love for there to be a lot of beans in the chili anyway. So one can will be fine. the handy dandy veggie chopper for this since there's so many peppers and things to do okay we got the peppers and onions ready to go I'm spraying the slow cooker the ground beef is almost ready oh yeah we're ready now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on so it can start cooking we're gonna go ahead and start putting everything in the slow cooker first we'll put the two cans of tomato sauce that way when the ground beef gets done all we have to do is drain it and transfer it over here now the can of stewed tomatoes and the kidney beans. We're going to drain these. Okay, and then the rotel. The peppers and onions. And this packet of McCormick Mild Chili Seasoning. Okay, what else? The last thing I think we need, oh yeah, we got to do the celery and the garlic. So we have two more things here one tablespoon of the minced garlic i already got my chopper thing in the sink i wish i would have remembered the celery <laughs> while i had it out it's okay this won't take long we just need two ribs of celery all right there we go now that is it until the ground beef is done then we just drain it and put it over here and it's going to cook on high for four to six hours probably around six or seven it's going to be in here gonna be in here for at least seven hours so if I see that I need to turn it down to low later on I will and I also have another can of tomato sauce if I need to add that in or some more diced tomatoes or something because since I don't have the beans in here because the other can of beans you weren't supposed to drain I might even just add just a little water if I need to because you know there would have been a little liquid mixed in with those beans but we're missing that it smells like Wendy's chili already I'm gonna go ahead and turn the slow cooker on high that way it can already be warm enough over here. Thank you. 
What? Oh, who drew this Wait, for what? you? Did Jonah draw this one for you or Sissy? Sissy, ooh, it's a lion. Oh, you have a sad face on. Turn that frown upside down. <laughs> All right, y'all, it is almost three o'clock. We are finished with schoolwork for the day. This is how it looks. Crazy. Jacob and Tyler already got their stuff up. They, uh, they did most of their work upstairs and then they turned their work into me in the afternoon. So mostly, this is just uh, Preacher Man and Sissy May who do this and this one, yes. He does some stuff too. <laughs> they both had art stuff going on today, and so that's why it's a little extra messy mess going on. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can clean this up in 15 minutes. On your mark, get set, go! Yeah! coming out to let the chickens out. It's not raining at the moment. We'll let them out for a little bit, right Manny? Yeah, we gotta go let the cat cats out. So the rain brought us back inside again, but I went ahead and turned the chili down now to low. It's been, it's four o'clock, so it's been cooking now for six hours so yeah i went ahead and turned it down to low so high for six hours is all you need what'd you find it says meet me at the pumpkin patch where there are fake pumpkins you wouldn't believe it <laughs> and this one says i love fall most of all okay y'all it is time to make the cornbread i've got the waffle maker out plugged up ready to go so i'm trying to remember where i saw this idea i can't remember if it was in one of the magazines or if it was on Pinterest. But so what we're doing is we're gonna make cornbread waffles and then we serve the chili over the waffles with toppings. I'm gonna do a double batch of the cornmeal cornbread mix and I'm gonna make half of it just regular cornbread waffles and then we're gonna do some with peppers in them. Pepper, yeah. So I just use the Southern cornbread recipe on the back of the Martha White cornmeal mix. That's it, when Sissy gets that mixed, we'll go ahead and put the first ones on the waffle maker. I'm not sure how cornbread does in here, so I'm gonna start with just a little bit, we'll see what happens. Oh, it's doing good, okay. I'll wait for the green light. I was smelling it, so I didn't know if it might be getting done, but we'll wait for the green light. I think I'm gonna do eight regular. I think I can get eight regular, and then we'll do the rest with the peppers. That should be at least four to six more with peppers. We're gonna have peppers, I'll do those last. Green onions, cheese, sour cream. What other kind of toppings? Oh yeah, I have some little tomatoes over here if anybody wants to put some more tomatoes. Of course, there's some tomatoes in the chili already, but. judge the need to make two batches of the cornbread that's okay we have lots of leftover cornbread waffles we do have a little bit of chili left it's better than Wendy's so good how much water did we have to add about a cup because it was you know really really thick I'm gonna have to agree with Titus that I think it's the best chili I've ever had so I'll have the recipe link for y'all down below and the recipe typed out he said he normally don't like chili he would like for me to make this regular. Is that all? That's all, folks. Now we gotta clean up the kitchen. Look, Manny, they're at the pump. 
pumpkin patch. What? Huh? Yeah, what? punk. Do you want to go to the pumpkin patch? Pump. You'll see punk. There's not any pumpkins in that book. <laughs> he calls pumpkins punks. Now it's time for the going to bed book. The sun has set not long ago. 